and welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we've got Fun with Flags by Cinemanique. I think this is game number six. Uh, but in this game, we're going to do this as a new move challenge. As it says, no moving recommended for ultimate pleasure. Challenge your flag knowledge with this map. 1,162 locations. I think last time I played it was just a little over 1,000. So some flags or some rounds have been added. Some locations have been added. So we're going to do this as a two-minute new move challenge. As always, the play-along link is in the description below. Hope everybody... Get that copied. Hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully my day will go well with the United States win in World Cup qualifying over Honduras, which they need to do, uh, or else they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble uh, facing going to Mexico the next round. All right, so this is Australia. You've got the Sydney Opera House here. I think we're on the bridge. Yes, we are uh, looking at Sydney to the south. And have not been to Sydney, or Australia for that matter, for quite a few games. So let's, we are looking south on the Sydney Harbor Bridge. There's the Opera House here. I'm going to guess we're probably right on that, uh, right here. Um, before we do, I've got a minute 17. Let's just take a quick look, because I will say this. Would I attempt to do this? Probably not. Not the biggest fan of heights, um, I will have to say. I don't mind. But ever since I've had kids, I've been a little more, I would say, apprehensive to do this. Climb up these stairs um, and to do something like this. And then I guess my concern would be live rails. Like, you know, I would probably walk and hit some le electrical line or something like that. That would be my fear. Not necessarily falling off, but it's more of that. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, pretty view there. Hopefully you got a great view of the Sydney Opera House, Sydney, Australia, if you haven't been. I have not been. Um, but um, being on the other side of the world might be a while before I get there, especially with the kids that I have um, and their ages, by the way. So 5,000 points, 19 yards, Sydney, Australia for the first round. Second round, let's see where we wind up. And we've got Turkey. So Turkey looking very patriotic here. Um Let's see. Okay, so. Top of uh, somebody's head. Okay, so any clues as to where we are? In, tur in Turkey. <laughs> um, I Teslar. Cosmetic I Teslar. I'm going to drop it in Istanbul just because it's the largest city. But I don't think we're there. going to be a lot of different places. I feel like I lose a lot of points in um, Turkey. Holy Batman, there we are. Um, yeah, I don't see that. That, I've, that is I to Slar. Um, Merson. Okay, so we are Merson. Got the right country, but we are 414 miles away. So there you go. 3,177 points. It lost a lot of points in that round just because of, hey, it's it's uh, far ways away. Uh, wow, what a beautiful shot that is. I have a feeling, where's the flag? Oh, Bahamas. Okay. So uh, pretty cool there. 
think this is Atlantis. Yes, it is. And it looks like Hebrew. Interesting. Uh, I, I love, you know, the Bahamas, Turks, and Caicos Islands. Very beautiful part of the world. I've been um, to this part of the world uh, a couple of times. And, you know, it's just that water there is just amazing. Um, but the Bahamian flag there. Not too far from Nassau. I know we've had Nassau in a previous round. I think it's off this way is Nassau over here. There's the bridge here and Atlantis. So let's go to Nassau and then to the east. I guess it's to the north, really. Um, and I think we are probably right here. There's the marina. The Atlantis Marina. I think that's where we are. And yeah, that's where we are. So 5,000 points, 34 yards. Near the Seafire Steakhouse. Piranha Joe. Frankie Gone Bananas at Bimini Road. Carmine's. Anthony Seafood and Ribs. And by the way, Bahamas. If we just take a quick look. is 50 miles off the coast of... Well, 50 miles here, I guess. Florida. So if Miami, you look to the east, you can actually jet ski out here. Um, I feel like somebody's done this. Not DJ Khaled, but somebody in the 305, as we've uh, discovered in a previous game, the 305 is Miami area code, but 50 miles away. And what's interesting is here at the West End, just perspective, I know this is kind of dumb stuff, but this is the stuff that I find fascinating. I don't know why. But here in the West End, you come, to, let's say you take your jet ski, you find a, want to rent a car. So for over here, you drive on the left side of the road, on the left-hand side, and then over here on the right-hand side of the road. So I know that's probably commonplace in Europe and stuff, going from one country or from England, whatever. But in the United States, uh, it's always interesting right off the coast. Okay, so, all right, so I'm thinking this is probably my... My first hunch is probably Mongolia, the Cyrillic, and that, but I'm not entirely sure. I always think like this looks like Kyrgyzstan. Let me just see. There's a Hyundai. Yeah, Mongolia. There's a snorkel. And you get these vehicles a lot. They're like Toyotas, or in our country, they're Lexus. Or I guess they could be Toyotas. There's somebody squatting over there. Um,. supermarket yeah so there's these bricks that look like well i guess the bricks are smaller than the ones in bolivia um i don't know why i had to think about this one i was thinking i don't know why i think kyrgyzstan but kyrgyzstan's all red okay so this means something i don't know probably like a small town of mongolia um, and if this is a Google map, we've got to be close to Ulaanbaatar, I think. Might as well just click close to it. Um, looking east, there's a small hill. It's dusty. It's arid for the most part. Um, and <laughs> we were 800 miles away. Wow. In Oji, Mongolia. 800 miles away, 2,084 points. Ooh, this has been a tough game. Let's see what we can get here for the last round. Stefan, let's look at this. I don't mean to look at it, but I see Stefan Dobrev. Um, okay, so where's the flag? Let's see. Interesting lights there. And there's the flag. So we're in Botswana. Okay, that's a Botswanian flag. I guess that's what you say, right? 
There's Botswana right there. Okay, so there we go. We got Bebel, Bebeli, Bathion, and Kama. This guy's got a big belly. Big belly, that guy. Um, he must have ate well in his day. So, Gab. Okay, so we're here, uh, I believe. Let's see. The central business. Okay, the three Dick Gossi monument. Three Dick Gossi monument. I guess that's got to be it, right? The three Dick Gossi. These are three Dick Gossis, I'm guessing, right? And uh, let's just go for that. The Botswana High Court. Are we looking? Mm. So okay, so maybe we're up here. Maybe we're we're there. Looking south southwest. Wimpy CBD Square, CBD Police Post, Jimmy's Killer Express, which is an interesting term for a food place. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're we're probably more in the middle of this, right? So we're probably here. Let's see where that fans out. Yeah, so we're probably right there. So that's, uh, I feel pretty confident about that. At uh, fourth commercial. And not even, these streets aren't even labeled. So let's go for that. And yeah, 5,000 points, 12 yards. We broke the 20,000 barrier just barely. Uh, interesting game. Um, you go to countries like Mongolia and Turkey and you find yourself um, in the country knowing that you're in the country, but you could be 800 miles away. And that's the tough part about this is if you don't have other clues, the flags could take you only so far. So you need other clues, right? So let's go to a quick game breakdown. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the first first round, I think everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people should get that that's um, Sydney, Australia with the Australian flag and the Sydney Opera House, very famous view. So perfect round, round one. Round two, we went off to Turkey. Um, Mersin, Turkey. Let's just take a quick look to see if we see anything. Any clues that we're in Mersin? I'm sure there probably are when you go back and look at it. I just don't know what to look for sometimes, right? It says, I don't know the language. Um, Mersin. Fanta. Okay. So anything with Mersin on this? Color Max. Color your hair. It just flags everywhere. So maybe they, this is during the Euros, during the World Cup. Uh, 2020, no. Just people like flying the flag of Turkey. Um, no, nothing I didn't see here. So, yeah, I, I don't know. If you have any clues on how this is Mersin, if you're from Turkey, comment down below. Um, the third, yeah, so that one, even if it was an on time round, I don't know if I would have gotten that or gotten better, much better. Much uh, or closer, let's say three or five thousand points. Say three thousand and going around three. And uh, the Bahamas, you just have to know a couple things here. The Bahamian flag, just I've seen that thousands of times, so I know it. If you're from different parts where you might not know it, Atlantis. Um, <laughs> just it's that building, Atlantis. Like I, I don't know. I mean, it's I've seen this a thousand times on tourist and travel documents or. I guess brochures or whatever you call them, and uh, yeah, all over the place, and and also YouTube, and I've uh, known people to go here to Atlantis and see stuff on Facebook. So Bahamas Paradise Islands, they called, and you got a little bit of Hebrew there because that could throw you off a little bit. Uh, fourth round, uh, Mongolia. It's a Mongolian flag. You got Cyrillic. Uh, other than that, and this, the the general landscape looks Mongolian. I'm guessing Ulgi. Maybe it says it here. I don't know. I really don't know. Is this? What, I guess you can sit on benches here to watch people do what? Comment down below if you know what these squares are for. Maybe it's some type of Mongolian game. And oh, they also the other clue is the snorkel here on the Google car, which if you play Battle Royale or any of those types of games, you'd see this quite often as distinguishing um, it being Mongolia. So, in terms of it being Ulji. Comment down below if you see that. In the round five, we went off to Botswana. That was pretty simple. You saw the flag, if you know the flag. But the fact of the matter is you saw Botswana um, in the letters off to the left, off, I guess, to one side of that. So we got 5,000 bookend, 5,000 rounds, and round three right in the middle of 5,000. Round two and four struggled, but that's part of the game. 
when you go to the larger countries and uh, you miss the actual location. So fun with flags, great game. I love it. We probably do this several more times with it being over a thousand locations or almost twelve hundred locations. And hopefully you enjoyed that this game. Hopefully you enjoyed playing it. Appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in and play the games and support the channel. Really appreciate it. We're now over a thousand subscribers. I haven't mentioned that. I will probably do. You know what I do? I'll do another. I'm gonna post a couple games. I'm gonna post a lot of games. Thousand subs. I, I don't really. My creative mind's trying to think what should I do uh, for a thousand. If you've got any comments on what I should do for a thousand subscribers, uh, we hit that mark pri primarily thanks to the folks from Finland. Um, comment down below. So with that said, as always. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.